Hey, what's up, guys? Kaiser here, and I'm doing another one of my podcast episodes where we're going to talk about a fitness-related subject. I feel like a lot of these are going to bring important parts of the fitness equation out into the open, make them clear, kind of in front of your face all the time, and then just give you the ammunition, the mental ammunition, the tools to get the best shape out of yourself, to get yourself in the best shape. And today's subject is uh, one that's kind of obvious, but for whatever reason, it's taboo. People don't like to talk about it. It's why do skinny people, people that are in better shape, that are leaner, that have less body fat, why are they more attractive? Why are they considered significantly more attractive than people that aren't in shape? You could say it's not fair. In some ways, it isn't, but you, you could also say life isn't fair. Uh, You could say that the outside shouldn't matter as much as what's on the inside. Yeah, you know, there's a case for all that. All of that is true, but you can't ignore the facts. You can't ignore the real truth. It's that we do find people more attractive when they have less body fat. It's uh, kind of uh, inescapable. It's undeniable. And there are biological reasons for that. So I want to get into some of those. I want to talk about the superficial stuff. Now, when it comes down to it, uh, Better Body as a program was built for those superficial reasons. We want to get you in your best looking shape. That's the best way to get you hooked on fitness. It's also the best way to keep you like in a positive uh, feedback loop that's going to make you want to just go even farther. Uh, If something is just Um, for your health, but it's not going to give you a physical benefit. Well, first off, the physical benefits are tied to the biological benefits. Having extra weight on your body that shouldn't be there has a lot of negative health uh, consequences. So losing that weight will make you healthier, will make you more able, will make you a better athlete, less prone to injury. It'll also make you better looking. So they go hand in hand. And that's the biological part I wanted to talk about. That our human biology, we judge health uh, as a major sign of attractiveness. Attractiveness, the bottom line, comes down to mating. It's a man and a woman, they like each other, they hook up, they make a baby. It's part of our procreation. It's really all things being, being told, you know, all things being equal, it's the reason why we're here on earth. It's the most important thing in life, uh, for sure. So uh, those attractiveness things, whether someone is attractive, is going to relate to health. There's no way around it. With men, it's going to be a strength type of thing. That a guy, if he can stay lean, put on a couple of pounds of muscle, he's going to have the appearance of being in better health, of being uh, stronger, uh, more able to compete, in uh, a dynamic changing environment if something happened if there was some sort of you know big problem someone that's very overweight can't get away from it the volcano just exploded all the people that are lean and can run fast would survive the rest wouldn't that's kind of an oversimplified answer but i'm sure you get it that if a bunch of um a pack of lions came and invaded this town the people that could outrun them or climb trees are the ones that will survive. Again, it's oversimplified, guys, but I, get, I, I hope you get the point that you're just better able to tackle the environment when you're leaner and when, when it comes to men, strength is generally what is considered more attractive. Now, when it comes, comes to women, it also has to do with being lean, being fit, the appearance of youth, which generally is tied to lower body fat, All of those things matter, probably even more so than with men, because women, their physical aspects, attributes, are what creates childbirth. The the baby comes out of a woman. So it's an entirely physical activity, practice, uh, phenomenon, whatever you want to call it. So a woman's attractiveness is uh, inescapably going to be linked to her body, to her health, and the appearance of health. So, uh, and even when it comes down to getting pregnant, uh, many times if a woman is having trouble, 
a doctor will recommend that she lose a little bit of, a, a little bit of weight. The two go hand in hand. So uh, those are just some of the obvious reasons, guys, why people that are leaner are more attractive. It's because they're just healthier, they're better equipped to survive in our dynamic environment. Uh, and if there is a surefire way to make your, more, yourself more attractive, it's to lose a little bit of weight. There's a lot of things that people try to do. They try to get uh, a new outfit. They do all things with their makeup and their hair. That stuff matters. And all things being equal, that stuff matters. But the just most fundamental thing is the uh, yeah, your body, your birthday suit, looking good naked. That's the most important part, that you're lean, that you're symmetrical, that you have a good shape, good balance, you have strength, and you're lean. Those things all, those things all matter. So um, those are all the biological parts, uh, guys. And then there is, um, to some degree, it's not as big as some people think, but there is a whole marketing and society's expectations part of it where we see in marketing the way people look. We see celebrities. I have a few of them flashing on the screen behind me, and we kind of hold them up as an ideal. Well, first off, the reason why we find them attractive to begin with is because of the biological reasons I talked about. I talked about it in uh, videos before, how Chris Pratt, when he was chubby, was just a funny guy. He was a good actor. He got work. When he lost the weight, he became a leading man. He became one of the best paid and uh, most loved people in all of Hollywood. Could that have happened when he was 30, 40, 50 pounds heavier? Impossible. Now, that being said, that's, that's a biological part. There is just the part that we do like to admire, uh, people that are in great shape. But I don't think you have to really worry about that so much because I think that uh, these fitness ideals of being overly ripped, overly huge, or super skinny and tall, those things, sure, we do hold them as ideals and consider them attractive. But in our day-to-day -day lives, if you want to lose 10 pounds and you start to get close to there, seven, eight pounds uh, lost, you're going to be so happy. You're not going to care about any other ideal out there. A lot of guys, they hit the gym. They want to look like Schwarzenegger. But once you gain about five pounds of muscle or you see major strength gains, you're not really worried about looking like Arnold anymore because you're feeling happy about yourself. So you're always competing against yourself, trying to get you to, to get to your best self and taking a few pounds off of that especially if you have a few to lose, is uh, just one of the best ways that you're going to get better looking, that you are going to be your best self. So uh, I don't know if you found this subject um, controversial. It always is. Like I mentioned when I started, the whole thing about how losing weight and people are judging you and how that makes you attractive. You might not like the subject, but that doesn't make it any less true. So if you are looking for one surefire way, gang, to look your best, then losing weight is the way to do it losing weight or making sure that you maintain your weight for the rest of your life. And what's the ramifications of that? Your uh, position as a role model or a person of influence in your social circle with your children, with your family, that's going to be served by it. The attractiveness in your relationship, absolutely, that was the subject of this entire podcast. And also your leadership uh, in your career. How people view you. Yeah, a lot of times, you know, when you graduate, getting that first job, your uh, grades and all that stuff matters. But once you're in the workforce, once you're in the workplace, your leadership, your ability to, pr to produce, get results, influence people, that's really what matters. That's what separates the winners from the losers. And all that relates back to your body. So uh, it's an important subject, guys, not just for your attractiveness, but for your life. So that was it for today's podcast, gang. I hope that opened some eyes, made you a little more aware, and just showed you how important and how serious it is to be your absolute leanest. But that being said, we're here to make it easy for you. So that's a wrap for today, gang, and you'll be hearing from me again soon.